learn how to reduce PDF file size and create a smaller size PDF in Illustrator in this quick and simple tutorial. You can see on my canvas, I have a very simple four page document set up. The document is set up for print. I have four US letter size pages with a three mil bleed and my document color mode is set to CMYK. So let's see how we can reduce and compress this file so that we still have a print quality PDF, but we drastically reduce the file size. So I'm gonna to go to File, Save As. Next, I wanna locate where I'm gonna save my file. So I'm gonna save my file to the Images folder. Now, I wanna make sure I keep the original Illustrator file and I don't overwrite it. You can see here in my Images folder, I've got the smaller PDF dot Illustrator file. So I wanna make sure I keep that. So I'm gonna switch the format to PDF. Remember now I'm in the save as option. So this will now create a different version of this file and keep this original .ai file. I've also saved a high resolution print PDF of this document so that we can compare the two documents once we're finished. So I've got my PDF here. I am going to save all four of the pages. I can obviously use the range option if I wanna just use a selection of those pages. And then I'm going to call this smaller PDF underscore reduced. Once I'm ready, press save. When my Save Adobe PDF options box appears, there's a few things I can do now to drastically reduce the file size. Under options, I'm going to check off the Preserve Illustrator editing capabilities, and I'm going to turn on the Optimize for Fast Web View option. Next, under Compression then, I'll ignore the grayscale and the monochrome bitmap images, but under Color Bitmap Images, I'm going to set Average Down Sampling from 300 PPI for images above 300 PPI. This means that I can drastically reduce any high resolution file size with embedded images, but I can still maintain that print level quality of 300 PPI. I'm gonna set my compression to automatic JPEG and I can set image quality to high or maximum. That's absolutely fine. So I'll, I'll keep it at maximum. That will still give me a high level of print quality, but will also give me a drastically reduced file size. Finally then under marks and bleeds, I'm going to use document bleed settings and I'm going to put trim marks on my document. So I'll set trim marks here. I'm not going to worry about any of the options, come to my summary, everything that seems okay, and then I'm going to press save PDF. From there, click OK. So let's put this to the test. So here I have my original Illustrator file. Here then I have my high resolution PDF. So I save this at the highest possible print option from the PDF export. And you can see the PDF document here is 1.2 meg. Now if I come to my reduced file, this is where I use those options. You can see now the Document size has gone down to 182 kilobytes. So a little bit of quick math, that's 15% of the original file size, which is a whopping 85% reduction. And remember, I am only using vector graphics in this document. If I was using bitmap images and JPEGs and compressing those, you would see even more considerable file size changes without compromising the print quality of the document by making sure the 300 PPI is still set as the downsampling option. And there you go. So if you're looking to send a big PDF file to the printer and you wanna reduce the file size without compromising the quality, try some of those options in the Illustrator PDF export and you should be able to compress the file and reduce the file size considerably while still maintaining print quality. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing and I'll see you for the next tutorial.